Rosh Hashanah, an old liturgy to ring in a new year. I want to discuss three distinctions in the first festival of our High Holy Day liturgy. In modern practice, three principal sections of the liturgy have been developed to make our lovely Rosh Hashanah services distinctive. Malchiyut is kingship. Zichranot is remembrance. And Shofarot is the sounding of the ram's horn. The first of these important concepts, Malchiyut, teaches Jewish worshipers about the majesty and oneness of our God, the King of the universe. The second, Zichronot, remembrance, it reminds us that God is our creator and our judge. And he is in covenant relationship with us. Shofarot gives us the blessed hope of our deliverer who will come to redeem us as promised. Hence the Messiah, is a very important aspect of our celebration. When we hear the sound of the shofar, a ram's horn, we think of the shofar hagadol, the great trumpet blast that will usher in the Messiah. To gain a mental visual, think about Gabriel blowing his horn when the saints go marching in. Jews and Christians believe in the resurrection from the dead and the coming of our Messiah. We believe in the final trumpet that will announce this event and shake us loose from the grave. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we will be changed. You see, our belief in a resurrection from the dead has been the hope that has inspired faithful Jews and Christians for millennia. That belief strengthened the spiritual resolve of our martyrs who gave their lives rather than abandon their faith. One such account provides a poignant backdrop to our Rosh Hashanah liturgy.